welcome back. It is now week six with crocheting with Miss Madison. Today, we're going to learn how to double stitch. So last week we taught, oh my gosh, I keep saying we taught. Last week we learned how to single stitch and this week we're going to learn how to double stitch. I know single stitching was hard and complicated and it just felt like you were never going to succeed. Trust me, I know. But thankfully, double stitching is not that hard. So for double stitching, of course, you're going to need a slip knot, a chain, and that's going to be it. You don't really need to single stitch in order to make a double stitch. So make our, our slip knot. The breast cancer sign, pull through with the long end, and bam. Put on the needle, adjust to the needle, and start to chain. For this one, we're just going to make 10, no, 15. So to your left, pull through, make it, make, remember to make them loose chains. To your left, pull through, two. Don't forget to count. To your left, three, left, four, left, five, left, six, left, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Fourteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay. Here's your chain. Remember, you're gonna to want to start to double stitch with the braid towards you. So, luckily for me, I have the braid toward me already. So, the braid looks like this. So, for double stitching, instead of with single stitching, remember with single stitching you have to put the needle through, and then wrap it. Now for double stitching, you're going to wrap it first. So go to your left. You're gonna skip a hole and then you're gonna go into one of the chains. So you're gonna start with three already on there. And then you're gonna wrap it to your left again and then you're gonna pull through one, pull through, Two, and then pull through all three and this is a double chain so we're going to wrap it again to your left go to your next chain wrap to your left Go to one, wrap it again, go through two, wrap it again, go through three. You're gonna keep doing that, and I will show you what the different chains look like. So let's just keep doing this. Okay. So you can see the double stitch is starting to happen. We're gonna keep going. Here's the chain. Sometimes if the needle's too thick, it's hard to get through the small holes, but it's fine. Just keep pushing it through.
And then also make sure you're holding it correctly because that will also confuse you. There it is. Okay. Wrap it through the hole. Wrap it. That one. That one two. Wrap it again. One, wrap it again. Two, wrap it again. And that one again. Okay, and this, so it's going to look a little bit messy, but this is what a double chain looks like. And once you do that, it's going to go all the way to the top and it's going to be wider. So with a single stitch, a single stitch is tighter and smaller. With a double, it's wider and exclusive. So last week we learned how to single stitch and this week we learned how to double stitch. And next week, I will teach us all how to cabbage patch stitch, which deals with double stitching first. So, I will see you guys all next week. And I hope you guys remember all these different terms because you're going to need them. So, have a wonderful day and I will see you guys all next week.